Hi everyone, it's Maria here. How are you? It is Monday, March 27, 2017. Another quick tutorial on Windows 10, but today it has to do with Microsoft Office Pro 2013. If you get this error message, the operating system is not presently configured to run this application on your Outlook, your Excel, your Access, your PowerPoint, any of the uh, Microsoft Office programs, this fix is for you. Everything had been working fine up until this morning and then boop, I couldn't access any of them. So I um, am going to uninstall my office and I'll show you how to do this here real quick. Okay, we are going to go to our control panel, go to uninstall, find your Microsoft Office 13, right click uninstall. Ready to uninstall? Yes. Let it do its thing. Now there is another way to uninstall this from uh, Microsoft, but uh, this is just as easy and it takes care of it as well. And I, uh, I'll show that to you later if you want. Okay, done in uninstalling. Yay, now we're going to have to restart the computer. So I'm going to sign off and then come back on and we'll go from there. Okay, I just restarted the computer and now I want to reinstall, but I'm going to have to go to my Microsoft Office account. So the quickest way to find this is just do a search on reinstall uh, Microsoft uh, Office 2013 and that'll get you to um, the support page right down here where it says download and install. Uh, make sure it's the support Office 2013 then scroll on down where it says uh, go to my office account office.com my account now you're going to sign in whatever your office your microsoft account is and whatever you downloaded uh, your original program to get your key code so whatever your your <clears throat> information is here that's what you're going to have to key in to be able to access another download from microsoft office so here's my my personal page. Now here I've tried to do an install from there, which I think it just is a default of the 32-bit. Uh, Don't do that. I tried to download that twice, had to re restart my computer twice, doesn't work. So come on down here where it says additional install options and toggle down to the 64-bit and install that. That's the only one that worked. I tried the default of the 32, does not work. So um, it's going to give you the uh, download the exe file, the executable file, and then you're just going to click on that. And it should start here shortly. That's just my install. And we wait until we get a prompt here. And here we go. Now, uh, there is a way, and I, I found this online, where you can go to your uh, programs and right-click Microsoft Office and do a, a repair. And I've tried that twice. I did the quick repair and then the online repair, and nothing worked. Some people say that it worked for them. It didn't work for me. So before you uninstall your program, you might want to right-click when you get down uh, to your programming areas. Right-click that first. Um, and see if that works for you. Otherwise, you're going to have to uninstall. So we're just going through the install process here. Um, so now it's saying that it's loading. And um, I just want to show you here, I'm going to show you that it actually did reinstall. So we're going to Microsoft Office. There's everything there. Now over here to the right where it says Office is installing in the background, 39%. I'm going to fast forward to that. But it says you can open up the programs, but don't do it because it kind of screws with it. So let it run its course until it, uh, it installs 100% uh, because I've tried to open up my Microsoft Word uh, before it got to 90% and it really screwed things up. And then I had to restart it and start all over again. So be patient and just let it run its course. Even though it says you can use your programs now, don't even try. I've tried it and it screwed things up. So let it get to its uh, full installation. And now it says installation is finished. Yay. And then we're going to get another prompt here. 
uh, I don't know why it says it twice. Um, so we're going to go to our programs, Microsoft. Let's click on it, make sure it opens my Outlook. Yay. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. I'm going to speed this up to make sure I can actually access. There you go. Okay. And I've also accessed my other programs, so it works. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you, and you have a good night.